Hi, I'm Dr. Suman Singh, consultant in Obs and Gynae. I've been practicing for the last 18 years and uh, I am currently associated with Cloud9 Jainagar. Ideally, patients with rectal pregnancy loss should be treated in a specialist clinic. Those with antiphospholipid antibody titers, which are positive, should be offered blood thinners like aspirin and low molecular weight heparin. This treatment alone is known to reduce miscarriage rates by almost 54%. In the earlier days, steroids and IV immunoglobulins were being used, but now these are not recommended anymore. Those with recurrent pregnancy losses where a genetic factor is being suspected, pre-implantation genetic screening can be offered for these patients. However, they need to know that the ultimate life birth rate for these patients is higher if they try naturally rather than going for PGS because with an IVF the limitation of pregnancy rates reduces to 30%. Those with septate uterus where there is an obvious cause for recurrent pregnancy loss should have definitive treatment like septal resection. People with cervical incompetence will need a cervical circlage procedures in pregnancy. And also one of the common treatment modalities that are being used in uh, prevention of miscarriages is progesterone. Progesterone, especially didrogesterone, works by an immunomodulatory mechanism whereby it causes a shift in the pro-inflammatory type 1 cytokines uh, to the anti-inflammatory type 2 cytokine activity. Patients with polycystic ovaries uh, were being treated with metformin, however there are insufficient studies and insufficient evidence to show the benefit of metformin in PCOS with recurrent pregnancy loss. Immunotherapy treatment was being used with using uh, paternal and donor leukocyte uh, transfusions but these are not known to improve live birth rates. They can be potentially dangerous and therefore should be used only in clinical research settings. In those with uh, hereditary thrombophilias, heparin therapy is known to increase the live birth rates especially those with recurrent second uh, trimester pregnancy losses and therefore they should be given low molecular weight heparin.